Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss about directional over current relay working principle where directional over current relay is used in case of transmission line protection and how to calculate the operating region of the directional over current relay in case of relay characteristics angle is known. So in this figure, we have shown three substation. That is substation A, B and C. In between substation A and substation B, there exists one single circuit line. Again, in between substation B and C, there exists another single circuit line. So R1, R2, R3, R4 is the relay. And substation A is connected with a source and substation C and is connected with another source. And fault occur in between substation A and B in this point. So due to fault occur in this point, relay 1 will sense this fault and also relay 2, relay 3 and relay 4 will sense the same current as the source is connected at substation C end. But in this case, only required relay 1 and relay 2 tip the respective circuit breaker to isolate this faulty circuit. Now consider that uh, there are uh, the relay which are used that is R1, R2, R3, R4 are not directional in nature. That is the non-directional relay is used. So in this case, uh, the relay R2, R3 and R4 will trip since uh, the current which is sensed by the relay R2, R3, R4 is same. So it is required that only relay R1 and R2 to send their respective circuit breaker in order to isolate this fault. But since directional relay is not used, relay R3 and R4 will also send their trip signal to the respective circuit breaker and there is unnecessary outage of the circuit BC. Now consider another case that is in between substation A and B, there exists one double circuit line. So source is connected at substation A and so fault occur in this circuit, uh, the relay cell operate that is R1 and R2. But in this case, R2, R3 and R4 relay will sense the same current as substation B and has no source. So if directional features is not used in this relay, in addition to R1 and R2, R3 and R4 relay will also operate and it will isolate this healthy circuit from the system. So directional relay is used in case of uh, line which is connected source in the both end and also it can be used for a parallel circuit. So how does the directional relay sense the uh, direction? So in case of over current delay, the directional uh, relay sends this uh, direction by means of the cross polarization method. That is in fault occur in red phase, the voltage of the rate phase will dip and therefore the healthy phase voltage will remain as it as it is that is for rate phase fault the quadrature voltage is used for the reference in order to detect the direction of the uh, relay so in case of rate phase fault the reference voltage is taken as the vyb again for yellow phase voltage the quadrature voltage uh, that is the quadrature line to line voltage is used as a reference. Why it is called quadrature? Because uh, VR and VYB is 90 degree apart or VYB is lagging by that of the VR with 90 degree. Now relay that is numerical, numerical relay use relay characteristics angle of maximum torque angle which is lies either 45 degree or 60 degree leading so maximum torque angle that is a fault torqueer at is leading from that of the quadrature voltage or cross polarization reference voltage with respect to 45 degree lead then maximum torque angle or maximum torque line will get so this is the maximum torque line if fault torqueer at 45 degree leading with that of the quadrature voltage so we can get the zero torque line. This is the zero torque line, 90 degree apart from both sides of that maximum torque line. So now we can calculate the operating zone of the 
uh, fault occur at right face and that is this is the plus 45 degree so since uh, with respect to the maximum torque angle zero torque line remains 90 degree in this side and also in this side 90 degree so operating region remains for right face as plus 45 degree to minus 135 degree now for y phase fault the quadrature voltage uh, is taken as the cross polarization voltage or reference voltage for detect the directionality of the y phase fault so in this case uh, v br is taken as the reference voltage and maximum torque angle or relay characteristics angle is 45 degree leading with that of the quadrature voltage so with respect to vbr the maximum torque line remain at 45 degree lead position so this is the maximum torque line so we will get the value of the zero torque uh, line so it is 90 degree from the maximum torque line for the both side we will get the zero torque line so now we will get the value of the operating region for y phase fault so this angle is 45 degree so this py by remains uh, with respect to br is 120 degree apart so with respect to this part uh, horizontal axis it is 30 degree lagging now since this is 45 degree this is 30 degree so this angle will be 15 degree so in this region it will be minus 75 degree so if i uh, rotate this minus 75 degree to 180 degree apart we will get the value of the operating region of the y phase fault so it will remain at 105 degree or minus 255 degree so for y phase fault for relay characteristics angle at 50 degree apart with respect to quadrature voltage or cross polarization method the operating region lies between minus 75 degree to minus 255 degree now for blue phase fault the quadrature voltage that is br is taken as the cross polarization method voltage or vr uh, y is taken as the reference voltage for detecting the directionality of the blue phase fault so since the relay characteristics angle or maximum torque angle lies at 45 degree leading with that of the reference voltage so if will be at 45 degree leading with that of the vry now since we get the relay characteristics uh, maximum torque line we will get the zero torque line it will be 90 degree apart from both the sides so this is the zero torque line so if fault occur with this region this region will lies in forwarding region and this region will remain at the reverse region so we will get the value of the operating region for uh, y blue phase fault so this is 45 degree and with respect to this is the rate phase voltage and vry will be 30 degree apart so we can extend another 15 degree that is 90 degree apart zero torque line remains at the 90 degree apart from the maximum torque line so this is minus 15 degree so we can rotate this 180 degree we will get the operating region for blue phase fault so for blue phase fault the operating region lies between minus 15 degree to minus 195 degree so this is the operating region for blue phase fault 